How's it going, folks? What I'm doing is I've been trying to get onto my Vista machine different video editing software and codecs and everything, be compliant with the cameras I'm currently using here, try to work through the MP4 codec and try to turn that into like a Huffy compressed file and then turn it into a DV file so I could work with it in After Effects. I noticed that there's some problems with this though. Well, I was trying to get some other software onto the computer, like um, uh, Roxio and Pinnacle. It already came with a version of Roxio, but nothing that works with movie files. It works with um, transferring the files to disk, and it works with the audio files if you want to do MP3s or whatever. It didn't work with the movie files as my Roxio 7 from my other machines did. So what I needed to do was try to put on the this software that I normally use, like Roxio and Pinnacle and uh, ULead, and see how it works with Vista. Well, I came up with an interesting problem. The first thing is, is when I tried to put on Roxio onto Vista, Roxio 7, it says it's incompatible with the operating system. Doesn't does want to take it with Vista. Works great on anything else, even up to XP. Doesn't work with Vista. Oh, fine. Well, with the other one, Pinnacle, I tried to put Pinnacle Studio on it, and when I click to open it in the files, anyway, there was a little bit of a difficulty putting administrator rights on this. I went to different websites, and it stated to go into uh, my computer, click manage, darn Vista with its snag screens, and set to look for uh, like local users. And as you can see here, that does not exist. And I tried going everywhere with this and trying to find what they said to, uh, to try to find here, and I don't see any place where it could let me choose uh, enable administrator or anything to do with local users. So I found this website on the net and it states how to log in as an administrator using the command line. Basically, you're supposed to uh, go into the run there. And you'll notice that I do have this to set on classic mode. I'm sorry, I'm just too used to my old windows. Now from the run line, uh, then put CMD, put command uh, prompt, and instead of pressing enter, because that will just bring you into a command prompt with the current user, you, uh, you press uh, control shift enter, and that will automatically get you into a administrator command prompt. Now an even easier way of doing this is actually to go into your programs, go into your Excel series, and where it says command prompt, from there, right click. And you'll see that it says run as administrator. And boom, it gives you a command prompt running as the administrator. Now most of these sites state that you should be doing this in safe mode. But I found that when I was in my current user and I did log in as the administrator there, that it did allow me to, after restarting my computer, to have an administrator link on my uh, desktop. So not necessarily with the safe mode, you can actually log in as a user. And if it, that doesn't work, try it in the safe mode, see if that does the job for you there. The reason why I'm telling you this is there's something that you have to do with the Huffy codec. Something I did not mention in the last video because I wasn't working with Vista in the last video that I was doing the tutorial on. Basically what you'll need to do is with the Huffy codec is that you'll need to place it in a temp file. And from the administrator prompt you'll need to link to that Huffy UV INF file. And I'll show you how to do that right now. And what it suggests on this website, uh, that is also links in the sidebar, is that the you'll want to put the, the Huffy into a temp file. 
Uh, so just put in the temp folder right there, make a temp on the C drive. Okay, and then uh, hit extract. Okay, now there we have our wonderful administrator command prompt. Let me go ahead and bring that up here. And the first thing that you'll want to do is when you have this, you want to change that directory to uh, the C drive. Now this is for a Vista 64-bit machine that we're working with here. Go C uh, backslash Windows backslash sys wow 64. And you hit enter. All right, so it's in that, uh, that folder there. And then you type this, run DLL32EXE, set up API.DLL, comma, install HINF section, default, install the number zero and then see your temp folder and your huffy uv inf and then you just hit enter okay and what that's going to do is it's going to have your Windows Vista recognize that Huffy INF file. Basically, you can convert using Pizzetter's MP4 TA, TAVI to the Huffy UV, even though you hadn't done that yet. And it would be converted to a Huffy uh, UV type file. It's just that any of your programs that your Vista Windows will see will not be able to see it. You could, you could uh, through your network, place it over to another computer, uh, Windows 2000, XP, whatever, and it will recognize that as the finished product. But the Vista, in order to play the file on any of your programs, it needs to have that command placed in that administrator prompt. So that's the add-on for the day, just covering um, Huffy's effect on the operating system of Vista. Uh, just remember that I do use the Samsung SMX F34 cameras that use uh, MP4 compression for their movies. I use Pizera MP4 TAVI. It's a free program to convert those over to the Huffy codec and then I convert the Huffy codec over to DB footage to use in After Effects. It comes out pretty clear that way. I hope you enjoyed this uh, semi tutorial. I hope it's informative in more ways than what it can be used for here, uh, you know, considering the 3D video work. And I will see you again.